Hey guys, Jason from Rhino Tough Tanks here. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the features and the benefits and the ease of assembly of our ground fill kit. So the primary features and benefits of the ground fill kit is so that once assembled, you'll be able to safely and cleanly fill an elevated tank without required use of a step ladder. So to move into what's included in the RTT 2880 ground fill kit, we've got a 60 inch vertical tube. We've got uh, the connecting adapters, which will attach to the center fill. We've got the uh, unistrut and attachment hardware. And then at the bottom, there'll be a one-way check valve. And so the tools required are very simple. A Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, half inch wrench, whether that's a socket set or open box wrench, Teflon tape or some other type of Teflon soft set sealant, a drum wrench. And the other options, we're gonna need some type of uh, ventilation for the tank. This is a two-way breather with a spring-loaded inlet vent and vacuum vent. This is a two-inch just open flip cap. This allows free air movement uh, without any restriction. One way or the other, we got to use some type of uh, ventilation with this system. All right, so to get things started, what we're going to do first is take our Unistrut and attach that to the bottom and topmost insert. It's important that this vertical pipe has good solid support from, uh, from the hardware. So I've got my Phillips screwdriver and I'm just going to snug that in making sure it's centered. And what this allows is for flexibility to shift from left to right to where that vertical pipe aligns. So that one's snug, and we'll repeat the process on the uppermost insert. All right, we're gonna repeat that same process, attaching the Unistrut to the topmost insert. So we want to make sure that it's centered. Again, leaving flexibility to adjust right to left when we attach the vertical pipe. All right, the next step is going to be attaching the 90 degree pipe inlet adapter to the center fill of the tank. Now, keep in mind, the NPT threads need to be coated sufficiently with either a soft set sealant, or in this case, we used a Teflon tape. So we need to remove the cap that's provided, and replace with the adapter. Be careful not to cross thread. We're going to want to hand tighten this until the threads will bottom out. We want the finish to be at a 90 degree angle parallel to the front face of the tank. So the next step is attaching the 90 degree union adapter to our inlet adapter. It's important to make sure that this O-ring that's inside of the union is equally in contact. That maintains the seal between the two, two adapters. The next step is to attach our inlet tube to our 90 degree adapter. You notice at the bottom, there's a 22 and a half degree angled uh, elbow that will be positioned to the outward position to give clearance for the check valve. Just like the horizontal attachment, it's important that the O-ring 
between the couplers is in equal contact, making sure there's a seal across both openings. Now we'll position, we'll position the vertical pipe so we can attach clamps to the top and bottom, securing it into place. So the next step is to attach our two inch pipe to our unistrut using our clamp kit. So again, we'll center that vertical pipe and then slide the clamp goes to the T shape. And that allows for a nice, secure attachment to the unistrut. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna hand tighten the nut and bolt for now, just to secure it into place. And then once we get the top bracket in place, we'll come back and secure everything with a flathead screwdriver and half inch wrench. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing at the top. All right, so now that we've got everything secured into place, we're gonna tighten it down with a flathead screwdriver and half inch wrench. Now we're gonna add threaded sealant to our bottom fitting. It's important we go in a clockwise fashion. Give it four to six wraps and that should be set to go. So the next step is to attach our one-way check valve. Again, notice that there's an arrow pointing in the direction the fluid will be flowing. In this case, going vertically. We want to screw that on until it's snug. Okay, that's snug. Now from here, the kit finishes with an open two inch NPT fitting. So it'll be important to uh, use a, a finished fitting that's gonna mate up with whatever you're connecting with, whether that's a cam lock fitting or a dry connect fitting. Um, that's gonna be up to, uh, up to your choice. All right, so the final detail on the installation. You have to make sure to ventilate that top tank sufficiently so that it does not uh, pressurize and bulge. So with that, you've got a choice of either a two-way venting breather cap or just a standard flip cap. The vent opening is located in the top rear of the tank. Got just a standard two-inch drum bung. We'll replace it with the vent cap. Spin it into place until the O-ring makes contact with the tank and that's all you got to do.